COVID debt, how are businesses going to cope? Asset finance usage still low, but starting to grow. And CBIL loan update. All of this in the latest Business Finance Bulletin. With the CBIL's loan application deadline fast approaching, now is a good time to start reflecting on how many businesses have taken out these loans, what they've done with the money, and perhaps more importantly, how they're going to cope with this new debt. Well, a survey has been undertaken by the British Chamber of Commerce and TSB Bank, and the survey found that 42% of business owners said that they have taken on either a C-bills or a bounce-back loan. So what have they used the money for? Well, a survey found that 71% are using it to support cash flow, 43% using it for overheads, and 32% of them are using it to pay off other debts. So having had this money, what's the impact on the business? Well, the survey found that 64% of them said that the loans are now going to negatively impact on their business plans. So in what way is this going to affect the future? Well, 27% of them saying they could scale down their business. 26% said it will change their investment plans. And 11% say that they could actually stop trading altogether. Now, when it comes to repayment plans, well, ideally, the business owners surveyed said that they would like a means tested repayment plan. This is where they'll only start paying back when they start making profits. Now, the Chancellor has been asked about this, but it doesn't seem to be carrying much favour, not much feedback coming on that. So it's likely that these businesses will be paying back 12 months after the loans have been drawn down. So going forward, of course, is now about managing your cash flow. And I recommend that you have a three or six month rolling cash flow forecast. You want to see if problems are coming down very early down the track to make sure that you can take appropriate action. And as ever, of course, take appropriate advice. Let's move on now to asset finance. Let's take a look at what's going on in this sector. And it's usually a good barometer as regards business confidence. Now, the latest figures for business volumes written in July have come out from the Finance and Leasing Association. Now, its members have reported that the volumes of new business written in the month of July compared to the month of July 2019 are down by 22%. So you can see there's still a significant fall in terms of activity compared to this time last year. If we look at the quarter to July 2020 versus the three months to July 2019, their business volumes were down a whopping 41%. We can see so big impact there in terms of investment appetite. However, some good news, there were actually increases in volumes in terms of IT equipment being bought and also increase in manufacturing equipment. So it's clear that businesses are starting to gear back up again. Now, if you want to know more about asset finance and how it can be used in your business, feel free just to give us a call or drop us an email, info at businessloanservices.co.uk and we'll happily take you through all the various options on how you can better use your cash by using asset finance facilities. Let's close with a reminder, of course, as I mentioned previously, that the Siebel's loan application deadline is fast approaching. Applications have to be in on the bank's desks by the 30th of September. And there's still a lot of activity going on in the marketplace. Ebri, a trade finance provider, has announced that it's linked up with Market Finance in order to offer Siebel's facilities. Now, Market Finance are an invoice discounter, so it sits quite well with the trade finance products that Ebri are offering. Also, we still see in likes of funding circle advertising their Siebel's products on TV and also last week Iwaka announced that from this week it is slimming down the amount of information that they require in order to assess applications so although we've now got only two weeks left there is still a lot of time in order to get those applications in on the desks and get the finance that you need in order to ride out these troubled times. That's it for another bulletin. As ever, I hope you enjoyed watching it. And if you did, please don't forget to give it a like and a share. So that's it. I look forward to being with you next time. In the meantime, have a great, successful and profitable week.